Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 5th to the 11th of April 2021. I hope you're well Pisces. Now I'm doing these a little bit early because Easter's coming up so let's just see what we get. <laughs> let's see what we get for you with the first Oracle card. Okay. Connection to Source. You're being guided, communicated to, watched over. Absolutely gorgeous energy. Um, yeah, very nice energy indeed. I'm going to pull you another card, Pisces. Oh, thank you. Reflection. Feels like with that source energy and we have communication. It definitely feels. I mean, it really... All these three cards, I could say, the universe is communicating with you, watching over you, sending you signs, symbols, messages. You know, this is about reflection, the moon energy. You know, you are the moon in tarot. Um, connect to your intuition because it's almost kind of like you're being powerfully guided and communicated to. And again, that butterfly represents transformation. So it feels, it feels like you're being protected here. Um, Sent signs, symbols, messages, call it what you will. It's interesting those three cards came out. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? Message for Pisces, thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, Pisces. <laughs> <coughs> that took me by surprise. Look for a sign. <laughs> Wow, there is definitely some sign you're being sent. You know, there's a sign this week. Let's um let's pull three cards and see what we get. There's definitely an energy of be aware because you're being watched over, communicated to. I can't believe that card came out. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Pisces. 5th to the 11th of April, 2021. Remember, I pull three cards, then I clarify, go deeper into the message, you know by now. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. I've got the Emperor in the challenge position. The Fool. King of Swords. Let's clarify, go deep into the message for Pisces, please. Let's clarify, go deep into the message for Pisces. Thank you. 5th to the 11th of April, 2021. Thank you. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. The Fool, Nine of Wands. <laughs> I like that energy. And we have the Page of Cups with the King of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords here, Pisces. I'm going to clarify this King of Swords. Clarify this King of Swords, please, for Pisces, Angels, Spirits, Guides, thank you. I've got the Queen of Wands. Which is Aries. I've got two cards of Aries here. So you might be dealing with an Aries, 
Uh, there's definitely an energy. <laughs> if you're receiving some communication, you know, it is an energy of, of divine timing, divine orchestration. And it might well be for some of you, you're being sent some sign, symbol, message, you know, however it resonates for you, Pisces, this week. But it feels that you're being guided. And it's definitely towards some kind of, it feels to do with some kind of positive change because the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles, for some of you, there could be, I mean, yes, this can be about, an energy of, in one way, it feels like you're feeling stuck because things are beyond your control. And that's the challenge. You might be waiting for some kind of offer or an opportunity to come your way. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is very good in terms of contracts, offers, job offers, um, career offers, business offers, It feels in this situation, um, I mean, it could be with a large organization, and I'm talking about large organization, lots of tears. Uh, so for some of you, it might well be in this situation that you're, you're trying to take control of something that's beyond your control. And there's a level of frustration with that, and I'm definitely picking up on that here. Spirit is recognizing that you're frustrated. It's a test of faith, Pisces. But there's a message that you're so close to this new beginning, yeah, to releasing the past journey <clears throat> that has been so challenging to you. You're one wand away from completing the journey and it feels beautiful. I mean, there could be one obstacle, one thing to do. You know, sometimes I can't, I mean, whether this resonates for you, you know, sometimes there's almost kind of like one more stage to go through before you get the offer, the opportunity. You know, it could well be, some of you have experienced some delays. It could well be there's kind of like aptitude tests and, you know, one more interview or one more assignment or one more presentation. I mean, call it what you will. Um, like I said, for some kind of like um, business offer, job offer, contract, new business, call it what you will. It feels that there, you're so close to starting in this new chapter but there may well be one thing to do and that's what spirit is saying here however and it, it feels like what you have been taking action strategically towards you know the seven of swords there's an energy of keeping something to yourself um acting covertly for example we do that when we don't want our current employer to to know that we're going for another job um or setting up a new business or taking some clients with us you know it's that kind of energy so there can be an element of acting covertly but you do it as part of a plan as part of a plan to a, a goal a plan to get the opportunity you want Queen of Wands can hold the opportunity. And if I'm definitely seeing her linked with the Emperor because these are two cards of Aries. So it feels in this situation, it feels like some organization and it feels like a, for some of you, it will be a large organization or you're waiting to hear from a person in authority. And there's definitely an energy of authority, you know, with this, a message where things start looking up. You know, the page of cups can be, things are about to look up. You know, it feels in this situation, you've been going and going and going for it. And there's almost like one thing to do. And then things are about to look up. What you've been secretly taking action towards, it feels for some of you, there's some positive communication remember the pages can be messengers the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change and the cups energy yes this can be to do with love romance relationships but it's not just that it's generally the joy that you get with this cup things start looking up um and it might well be unexpectedly there might well be an element of the unexpected here it feels very beautiful, Pisces. Absolutely beautiful energy. 
I mean, this is all part of the plan, putting the plan into action in a secret way almost. Now, for some of you, you might be dealing with a third party as well. Some of you might be, there may well be a third party involved in this situation, male or female energy. Um, could be a recruitment consultant, could be a business advisor, could be a go-between, you know, people who connect business or some kind of advisor or consultant, you know, from some kind of third party or intermediary who is connecting you to this person. So you might be liaising with that kind of person as well. But nevertheless, it feels like there's some positive communication coming your way where things are looking up. And believe me, it really is divinely timed. <laughs> I can't believe you got all those cards. There's absolutely an energy of look for a sign, you know. And again, this page of cups is your intuition being on alert, you know. Um, seeing the sign when it pops out of the cup, you know, <laughs> which is the fish, interestingly enough, your sign. So it feels in this energy, Pisces, there's something it feels like some kind of offer opportunity is coming your way and it's about to look up but there's one more thing to do and it, it definitely feels promising it feels there's the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change things are about to look up here um where you're putting a new plan secretly into action very lovely very lovely energy so i'm going to pull a final card my goodness Pisces honestly I can't believe the amount of spiritual energy around you we have embrace your powers of divination which are especially strong right now uh, you have the ability to see your situation with crystal clear clarity wow and it is an energy of look for a sign <laughs> yeah don't give up you know it's nearly over whatever the testing journey has been the test of faith it's nearly over it's nearly completed and you're about to release the baggage of that difficult journey of the past and step into that new beginning because something is about to look up uh, beautiful energy i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful day a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you